Hey, what's up, guys? It's Professor Clues here, and yeah, we're doing yet another squad builder, and this one is a League of BBVA uh, side. And recently, I've been getting like comments saying uh, it's a lot more expensive than PS3, considering that it's maybe PS3 users saying this. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I've got both the Xbox price and the PS3 price. So the Xbox price for this team is 120k, and the PS3 price is 180k. So quite a big difference if you uh, think about it. Um, one and a half times more expensive on the PS3 than on the Xbox. And as you can see, I've gone for the most newbie uh, formation in the game <laughs> but it is actually a very good game and it is a win winning formation <laughs> but yeah um i'll just switch this to liga bbva or la liga and in goal we have got diego alves uh he was in my first squad builder uh which was my christmas squad builder my brazilian one and he is an excellent goalkeeper 91 dive 90 reflexes uh makes impossible saves some yeah, just so overpowering. Very good goalkeeper. Uh, right wing back is João Pereira. He is okay, uh, very cheap. Well, it's not really that surprising because he's not particularly high rated. Uh, 86 pace, so that's decent. Good for going forward. Uh, and yeah, just... <laughs> I wasn't going to get Danny Alves because then that would just make the team like 300k, so... There was not not much point in getting him, even though he is a very good player, Danny Alves, and I can I know that for sure. First centre back is Mascherano. All right, very good defending indeed, which is good because that makes him very solid at the back, and decent pace uh, could be better. Um, but yeah, very it's, he, he does the job. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, so yeah, second centre back is PK. Very overpowering. Uh, considering he's only got 62 pace, 86 defending, 81 heading, very tall as well, so just wins every every ball that comes at him. Uh, very good defender and very cheap now. Uh, and our final centre back is Pepe, probably my favourite centre back, or oh, in my top three probably favourite centre backs in the game for me. Just wins absolutely everything, just intercepts everything. It's unbelievable. Uh, how he does all these things. Um, very cheap now, uh, near the 5k mark, uh, t between 5 and 10k. I'd be surprised if we can get him for 5k, I would say. Um, but very good player indeed. And our left wing back is Jordi Alba. Again, like Danny Alves, Marcelo is too expensive, but Jordi Alba is still uh, worth getting. I mean, 90 pace, fantastic. And then 80. One dribbling, which is good for a full back, um, and then seventy eight defending. So he's pretty decent at defending, but I suppose more of attacking player, which is pretty helpful being a left wing back because that sort of means you're an attacking defender basically. Uh, so that works well. Our first centre mid is Modric. Uh, yeah, he's got some decent stats, seventy eight pace, which is pretty good for a centre mid, and eighty seven dribble. Doing absolutely terrible in the La Liga, but he's uh, all right on the game um, and does the job. Our second set bid is actually a CAM and a very good player. It is the Frog. No, sorry, uh, Urzel, should I say. <laughs> a very good player, 77 pace. Feels a bit more than that, about 85, I would say. No, that's a bit exaggerating. No, about 83. I don't know strength, but he feels quite strong on the ball. Which is good, and 88 dribbling, which is just fantastic. Start, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, very good player indeed. Right forward is Di Maria, got the biggest ears in the world, um, but an excellent player, very fast, great dribbling, and also great cross of the ball. He's got like 91 crossing or something, so definitely worth getting. Very, very good player indeed. Left forward is Davavia. Was, has been out for so long and people are going to be upset because he, he's he been degraded and uh, Vidic was out for like the same time, same love of time and he's not been moved at all, which is surprising I must admit, even as a United fan. 
Uh, he is still a very good player, but some of those stats are pretty decent. I would say play him at left forward. Don't be playing him left wing because for left wing you need quite a bit of pace. Obviously, you got that with um, Di Maria. But because he's left forward, he's sort of more of a striker. And because he's got 79 pace, that sort of works best for him. Uh, 85 dribbling, which is pr- pretty crucial for a left forward or left wing. And then 87 shot. He's got an absolutely fantastic shot. Um, belts him into the top corner. Uh, I think he's got like 90 long shot. Probably something like that. It wouldn't surprise me. A very good player, and yeah, worth getting because he's pretty cheap now. On our striker, I love this guy to bits in real life. Uh, no, I'm not gay, but <laughs> uh, yeah, striker. We have got Falcao. Uh, people, people are a bit unsure about this guy due to his pace. Uh, I, it's understandable, but honestly, it that doesn't matter. He is an absolutely fantastic player. Five star weak foot, and. Four star skill moves as well. Uh, yeah, and best of all, he's got ninth heading. Trust me, just wins every header. Heading is also became. They've seen. I think what uh, FIFA have done quite well. They've made the sort of what they what people thought to be less important stats, sort of more important stats. If you know what I mean. Uh, and having Di Maria next to him, it works. He works so well. Uh, he can play like one twos of him, and then just run into the box. Very good player. And this is a very good team, actually, guys. Um, very, very much worth getting. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, it would be great if you leave a like. And it would be even better if subscribed, especially because I'm so close to 100 subscribers. And I, and I have got something special for 100 subs. Uh, don't you worry. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.